Last home game of the season today as St. Francis welcomes in 3-7 and seven Olivet Nazarene. A win today guarantees the Saints a share of the MSFA Midwest League title with St. Xavier and possibly Robert Morris. As for the playoffs, chances are slim, but it's football and you never know. But first, you have to take care of business here today. Kickoff and starting lineups coming up next on the USF Sports TV Network. Eli Spann in motion. Not a jet sweep. It's going to be a keeper for Don. Diving into the end zone. Touchdown. Don Buck gets 10 yards and he dives into the end zone for the first score of the game. And he got a great push from the middle of his offensive line. Those guys just cleared out that hole. Zone option read to the left. He read the hole, took a right to the middle. Watch this. Look at this push. Webster out there. There's nobody that touches him until he gets to the goal line. Fourth touchdown with his legs for Don Buckkiss this season. And on comes Barnett to put up the extra point. Don takes it, gives to John. He's hitting the backfield. Legs still going, dives in, touchdown. John McGee, a touchdown, his seventh of the season, the 15th of his career for the senior running back. Ball, ball, ball. Fumble in the backfield. Saints can jump on it. Saints think they do, and they do. First takeaway of the game for the Saints. The 33rd takeaway of the season. And it is picked up by Meg Calandriello. Just a misread, miss handoff. Watch, he puts on the hip right there, never even secures it in the red basket of the running back. Now St. Francis got a shot to get points off a turnover. That 33rd takeaway, they are one shy of the school record of 34 takeaways in a season. Play action looking down the middle. They're looking for the tight end. Nice touchdown. Catch. Adam Morrison, a touchdown again through the air. His fourth of the season on his ninth catch. And the Saints lead it 20 to nothing. That might be the best ball he's thrown all year. Because he didn't have a big window to throw it in. Watch his flashback. Watch when he puts this ball over the linebacker on his receiver's hands. Adam Morrison's fifth touchdown of his career. Like we said, the fourth of the season. What a target in the red zone. Number 41, Adam Morris. Just a sophomore. Nice to have him around for a while. Nolan in motion again. Not going to get the opportunity. Donnie's going to throw down the middle. Has McGee caught at the 10. He trips. Steyer. Touchdown. <laughs> Barely made it in, but John McGee gets into the end zone. Second receiving touchdown of the season for the senior out of playing field. And the Saints lead it 27-0. I'm laughing because they, they would say sniper in the films tomorrow. Yep. Watch this. He's wide open. He's at the 12. And bam! Look at it. All of a sudden, he gets in there. The gopher came out. Not nice. Nice job. Two to the right. Blitz coming from the right side of Don. He's going to have to evade. He does. He looks downfield, fires, has Nolan for a completion, cuts it inside of the 10, put down at the five yard line with the flag back at the 45 yard line. It could be a roughing the passer. His longest reception of the season. With the stand in there, he's getting the pressure. Looks downfield, no one's open, and then, yeah, D lineman took two steps and then hit him. And Chandler took him in. The junior linebacker had no chance kept covering Brandon Nolan. Quarterback sneak set. Pushes forward. Looks like he's got enough from here. No signal yet. They're going to take their time. Still nothing. Still no signal. There it is. Touchdown, Saints. Don Buckus the second time. Brown today. It makes the score 33 to nothing on the Don Buckus quarterback sneak. He's now got rushing on the season. Find number eight. Find number eight. That's what they're looking for. The yep. ball in number eight. Is he over the line? Yes, he is. Isn't that other quarterback play every time? It's so much of a better offense. As Ray is wrapped up, down he goes. It's a sack behind the line. Jamal Graham slips in and makes the sack again. Second sack of the season for Jamal Graham. Ray, empty backfield, pump fakes, no one's open. Wrapped up, down he goes again. Another sack. This one from Mike Calandriello, his sixth sack of the season. Looking to throw, here comes pressure from Smith, has to step up, wrapped up, down he goes again. Third sack of the drive. This one, Mike Hasso, his second of the season. 
And a turnover on down Saints football. Now you're gonna put a spy on him. He sees nobody's going out, so now he can release. Three sacks by three different guys on that drive alone. That was a big defensive series by USF. Right side. Ooh, dangerous pass, but Nolan's got it. Five and goal line touchdown. Brandon Nolan, his first touchdown of the season for the senior and a big score for the Saints. That time Larry Kelvin, DB for Alva, goes for the pick, just misses it. Nolan secures a catch, takes it on the right side and watch. 36 jumps this, thinks he got a pick six the other way. Donnie eyeing him a little bit. Look at this, right there, just takes a wrong route. Nolan with a touchdown. Good for you, Brandon Nolan. A senior, a touchdown, his only one of the season on senior night. His extra point is good. His third touchdown of the of his career. Wrapped up. Oh, look at that play! Right through the offensive lineman, Tim Smith. Right over <laughs> the offensive lineman. Jumped over the offensive lineman to make that sack. Talk about athletic. Watch this. The running back, watch it. I just run right over you and make the sack. Tim Smith, his 10th sack of the season. Number five in the country in sacking the quarterback, Tim Smith. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Jamal Graham and company, a great defensive effort, pitches the shutout against Olivet Nazarene, and in doing so, has a share of the MSFA Midwest title for the second time in four years. Congratulations to this group of seniors and this team. A job well done. Midwest League champions once again. Anytime at this level you can put a conference championship in your perfect case, that's a good season. Not only that, but in one of the best conferences and one of the best divisions in the country. And keep an eye, we got Breon Tucker and Aaliyah Cal with a a bucket of ice cold Gatorade, so Coach Curry, you better watch out. <laughs> oh, he already got one. <laughs> Bring out Tucker, you know what, Ali Akal do it again anyway. <laughs> oh, they're going for it. the assistant coaches now. <laughs> they're going to pin him down. They're not going to let him go. Tom Sally is about to get, he's about to get it. Defensive coordinator Tom Sally. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, they're having fun down there. Congratulations to the coaching staff with a big win. Well, it's been a heck of a year coming away with the conference title. Your final score, 40 to nothing over Olivet Nazarene here at Joliet Memorial Stadium.